What is the maestro thinking? All right, well, I'm thinking a little different, something like a hexagon mm. with a hexagon inside it, mm. and then little planters around the exterior of the center hexagon. That's funny, because I was thinking square. <laughs> But okay, it's yeah. for the Girl Scouts. Let's yeah, jazz it up exactly. a little bit. Let's start with a circle. Now, a hexagon has six equal sides. So if I take the radius of the circle and space it out six equal times around the circle, I'll get my hexagon. So these are equilateral triangles. Equilateral, right. all three sides of a triangle are equal. Exactly. That's an equilateral triangle. Exactly. So. If we want to make a planter that is this diameter, yeah. what are you thinking in terms of total size? All right, so let's say 40 inches. Okay. okay. Diameter is 40, half of that is 20. Gotcha. So that means we have 20, 20. Oh, there's 20. our outside cut. It's our outside cut. So now we need one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Six pieces. Cut 20 inches. We just have to figure out the miter. Okay, the miter, now inside the circle, 360 degrees, six equal parts, that's 60 degrees. 60 degrees is right here. Every one of those inside. Every one 60. of these are 60 degrees, okay? Now because of the way the miter saw cuts angles, if you want to make a 60 degree angle on a board, you need to set the saw at 30 degrees to make that cut. Right, because zero degrees on a miter saw is actually at a 90 degree angle to the piece. Correct. So you're going to have six pieces cut at 20 inches long with two 30 degree angles on the outside? Exactly. Girl Scouts, this is why you need to stay in school. <laughs> I have an MBA and that's uh, my head's melting. <laughs> How now, do you this, know? Is, this is fun stuff. Let's do it. All right. All right, so set my saw at 30 degrees. I'm using cedar because it's rot resistant. I don't want to use pressure treated because of the chemicals will leach into the soil and get absorbed by the herbs. Okay, so now we flip it over. We'll make it 20 and an eighth long to long. We could turn these miters and they'd go the other way, but I'm gonna do a lapped miter, basically. That way, it'll be easier to join the boards together with screws. I'm gonna pre-drill those holes, so less chance of splitting the wood. ourselves one hexagon down that looks pretty cool yeah all right now that's the first one now we have to build <laughs> another one to fit inside oh gosh it's a little bit tricky we have to think about the hexagon inside has to be basically shorter than this piece from the long point here to the long point here 20 and an eight got it i now have to measure this side piece on the diagonal inch and three quarters. We take the inch and three quarters off the 20 and an eighth. 20 and an eighth minus an inch and three quarters is 18 and three eighths? Three eighths. Eight, is that right? 18 and three eighths. 18 and three eighths. And that will be from long to long for this piece, this piece, that piece, that, so on. That will give us our... <laughs> That's why we have to cut them. Right. Now, another way you could figure it is for this hexagon is uh, three foot four or 40 inches. So that was our diameter. It's actually 40 and a quarter. So that's that's our length. Of we 20, cut that in half. Right. 40 and a quarter, and 20 and a half. So to get the length for the inside ones, I would make a circle. 
And this way, that is 36 and 3 quarters. Divide that in half, it's 18 and 3 eighths. I cannot wait for a Girl <laughs> Scout cookie. Let's just cut. All right, let's get them cut. Honestly, Tommy, I, I got very little. No faith. I know I have a, a, all the faith in the world, but yeah, the math and the geometry test you put me through here. I always loved the challenge when it framed roofs and stuff like that. It was always fun. Gazebos, all kinds of stupid things. You know what I don't frame? What roofs? <laughs> I, because of this. And it's nice. It's fun. Oh, moment of truth. Right, Will yeah, it fit? Oh, it's gonna fit. <laughs> That. Pythagoras pops. Pythagoras, yeah. That really tightens Perfect. it up. All right. Let's take a look. There you go. Wow. Wow, Pops. That looks terrific. Yeah. Cannot wait for the Girl Scouts to see this. Now we just need Nathan to pick it up. Beautiful. Well done. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.